Hello, today's uh, workout of the day. Um, I have a race coming up this weekend, so it's one of my uh, kind of standard pre-race workouts. Um, I do a 10 minute swim. Within that 10 minutes, it's basically my race warm up. 10 minute swim, where I swim really easy for about six or seven minutes, and then I do a couple 25s fast. If I was in the open water, I would do um, like sets of 20 strokes really fast, since it takes me about 20 strokes to swim at 25 meter and then I did five one hundreds um, about five seconds faster than my T pace so they were really really quick um, working on my arm turnover my arm speed this is how I like to start um, the start of my triathlon swims is pretty quick so I can get out and kind of get my space um, try to get a good draft as well um, in between those five one hundreds fast I did a 50 easy for recovery and then I followed that up with five minutes of just breaststroke to stretch out my arms, stretch out my legs, hip flexors, adductors, abductors. And that was my 25 minute race week swim. Um, I'd love to hear what yours is. Um, you can send me a voicemail from my website, t2coaching.com or go to my Facebook page, t2coaching. Click on the voicemail tab and send me a voicemail with any health, fitness, or sport questions. But really, what's your favorite pre-race workout? That would be great to find out. Make it a great day. Okay, now that you've worked on your breathing body, right body, balance, and rotation, it's time to work on the remaining facing the hips, the elbow. The first phase we're going to talk about is what's called pile three with your elbow. What that means is the other one is called finger drag because it all takes your wrist drag. So those are the two main kinds of recovery phase. The reason recovery is so important is in a your arm, so you're really in a recovery phase, whether it's wide or too narrow, like the ceiling of the pool.